when determining and maintaining the prices you sell your goods to customers for, Spire provides flexible methods for entry and use. Set standard and customer level pricing on inventory items, including special prices by customer, which can be easily stored and referenced. Prices can be assigned based on selected serial or lot numbers and updated from various transaction types and importing price lists. Standard pricing is determined when editing inventory items. On the Details tab, the usual price for each stocking unit of measure is entered here, allowing you to see what the expected sales margins will be with the associated costs. The product code defined here can have a minimum margin assigned to assist in warning against or preventing selling at a price too low to meet this margin. On the Prices and Units tab, there are additional prices you can configure. The pricing area lists all the defined price levels for this item, from the levels you create and maintain. Price levels are named for reference and clarity, can be assigned to a specific currency, and can be set as the main price for the currency. Price levels can be assigned to customers on their billing or shipping addresses for default pricing. The main base currency level is linked to the price on the Details tab. You can have selling prices for alternate units of measure by highlighting the desired unit above, which reveals rows calculated from the stocking unit and respective price factors. Or you can create levels specific for this unit. This could be useful if you offer a price break when multiple quantity is sold. When prices change, you can assign an effective date for when the new price is to be used on sales orders, and optionally an end date if this is for a temporary price change. And you can disable the discountable option on items to remove the ability of reducing the selling price of items on sales orders with discounts. Because price changes typically occur over large volumes of inventory records, inventory sell prices can be listed on a separate tab for all items, for inquiry or for exporting, and can also be imported. Each imported record is also related to a particular unit of measure and price level. When inventory sell prices are imported with an existing effective date for the price level, that level will be updated. When the effective date is different, a new price level will be created. In addition to the price levels on items, you can also configure specific pricing from the price matrix area, either on this tab, which limits displayed records to this item, or from the module that allows access to special pricing for all items. You can set special pricing for an item for a certain customer, perhaps only when the item is shipped to a defined address or instead offer the price to a customer group or territory or currency, or even all customers if you leave all these fields blank. The price matrix record can also be set only when this item is shipped from a specific warehouse, or using a particular unit of measure, or as a group pricing for all items using a certain product code. The unit item price can be set specifically, or as a discount on the regular price or margin calculated from the item cost. And these prices can be configured to only be used when sold within a given date range, or if the quantity ordered is a minimum value. If multiple price matrix records could apply to the same item for the same customer, there are internal rules to determine which one takes precedence, unless one of these is defined with high priority, or the company setting to match lowest price and price matrix is enabled. Price matrix records can be multi-selected for the purpose of editing and saving particular values to all selections, and can also be imported to update existing records or create new ones. If an inventory item supports serial or lot numbers, you can set different prices for each number. On the Serial or Lot Number tab, in the grid that lists the numbers, highlight one or more numbers of choice and click the Update Cell Prices button. Then you can enter the price to save on these numbers, which will become the unit price on a sales order when this number is selected to ship, if the company setting to use serial lot number selling is enabled. And for any items that exist on either purchase orders, adjustments, or transfers, 
you can edit the value in the cell one column. And when this transaction is posted, that value update the price level one amount on the item. When entering sales orders, these configured item prices can be used as defaults, or changes can be made if user security settings allow. The sell price level from the customer is found here on orders, and changing this will load the respective prices of each item that has an amount defined on that level. Otherwise, the price is unchanged. Any of the unit, extended, or retail prices may be edited manually on both sales orders and point of sales. The retail price excludes any discounts added to the detail line, and the unit price includes discounts for those items that allow them. There is also a discount percentage found in the sales order footer, which can be defaulted from a value from the customer billing tab. This rate is calculated with the order pre-tax subtotal, excluding any items that don't allow discounts, to determine the order discount amount. While editing a specific order, or from the order list toolbar for multiple orders, it is possible to refresh prices and recalculate all item pricing based on all the rules from items, price matrix, and other places. Or if you want to remember the pricing defined for a specific order, you can use the store prices process to create or update price matrix records with customer and item combination. This can be set to automatically happen using the company setting to auto update customer price table, which would always happen with no exceptions. If the sales order is for a customer that uses a different currency, that is your base company currency, this will be identified above the order total amount. All prices will be displayed in the customer's currency, either calculated from the current exchange rate or read from prices that were configured to that currency, which could be seen from a dropdown list on the unit price. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, Access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.